What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and this is the start of a March reading vlog. So, welcome to March! I don't know if this is going to be week-longs, month-longs, a fortnight, who knows. We've got a lot of things happening this month, so I would like to vlog. This is really crooked. And this is Mel's Roller Breeds Readathon, which is happening all of this month. And I'm super, 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 super excited. So, it is now 11pm on the 1st of March. I've had a big day at work. I then went and saw my potential new car. That's the same age as Ash, which is 30. So it looks like a bit of a box. I'm still super excited for it. I think it's really adorable. If I do get it, I'm going to call it Matilda, but it's going to be called Tilly for short. And I think that just sort of fits perfectly for me. So I'm super happy with that. So tomorrow I'm going again after work. I went and saw it at the owner's place today and then tomorrow after work we're going to go to the mechanics and talk to them. I have a whole list of things that I want to confirm with them just to make sure that it's all good before say, giving it the big thumbs up. But like the owner was I think she's like 89? 90? And she's recently lost her license. But she would take her son to 10 pin bowling and go grocery shopping and that's all the car got used for so it only has 80,000 80, k's on it. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I'll talk to the mechanics tomorrow and just see how that all unravels and then on Thursday I'm going for my P's test be able to have my license and drive independently. I'm not panicking. Genuinely I know that I'll be fine I'm just always stressing about exams because there are things beyond my control and I don't like that <laughs> but that's what we're doing for that and then I'll come home and go live on Friday. What am I doing on Friday? On Friday I have nothing and then on Saturday I have the City of Bones discussion which is the bookstar read-along for the City of Bones. We're going to be talking through that at 12 and then I have a podiatrist, podiatrist, podiatrist appointment at 2. So I'm going to have to sprint from there down into town. Hell, I could drive! <laughs> Who knows? So we've got a lot of things going and I find that when I'm on the go and it's thing after thing after thing after thing and not in a situation where I feel 100% confident, I just don't vlog. One, I forget. Two, I'm too stressed about other things. Three, it's just, I don't take my camera with me. Four, I just don't want to in those moments. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna get much B-roll until later on in the piece, but I did want to try and make more of an active effort because this is Mel's Readathon and I definitely wanna support it because I absolutely love her and this is an amazing Readathon. Also, on the week of the 14th, I think, I will be participating in the final book club support group as well as the Magical Readathon. So they're week longs, so I want to do a week vlog of those. But we'll just see because I am trying to lower the amount of videos in a given month. What I'm thinking is this could replace some of the content that I have yet to decide on what I'm doing. So we'll see. In terms of reading, I have finished my first Roller Breeds, which is The Gremlins by Roald Dahl. This was a 56 page picture book and I gave it four stars. This is a hard one to write because one, reading it on my phone was not the right way to consume this. It was very hard to read and I stumbled a lot with it. The illustrations were beautiful. I found them very reminiscent of an older picture book which is what it is. So it had a really nostalgic vibe even though I've never read it before. And then it is my favourite author's first book and it's about World War II and flying in the RAF. <laughs> the content itself was mildly outdated, not what I would be wanting to put forth to kids nowadays, but also the moral behind it of these little gremlins which are super adorable and I want like a little figurine of them. I don't know if that is possible to get but if they are, I would love one because they are just so adorable. They go from being mischievous to helpful creatures. And so I thought that was a really lovely progression and I love the way that they helped. The ending was not what I would 
encouraged, but I can see, knowing Roald Dahl's history, why he went that way. <laughs> and he made some pretty valid points uh, surrounding mental health and that of the pilots in the RAF. Interesting one to start on. I think that it's a fun, cute read, but it would be best for adults wanting to reminisce about that time, I suppose, would be who I would actually recommend it to. I wouldn't recommend it to kids anymore. I think it's just a little outdated for that front. But I wouldn't mind acquiring a copy if I found one. For not too expensive. Um, just to be able to finish off my Roald Dahl collection and then if they have the little gremlin figurines I would love them. They are so cute. That's what I've read. Then I've spent the past half an hour to an hour attempting, probably longer, attempting to get more of my prompts made up because I wanted to incorporate Cluedo themed ones as I've seen Naomi from Naomi's bookshelves do and so she has the prompts of Green, Mr. Mrs. Peacock, the dining room, the revolver, anything like that. So I've done those. So I've done study, dining room, ballroom, library. I've put room to specify that this is not a library book. This is to be based off Cluedo. Hall, conservatory, billiard room, lounge, uh, wrench, revolver, knife, Mrs. White, Professor Plum, Miss Scarlet, kitchen, rope, uh, lead pipe, Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, Mrs. Peacock, candlestick, and then I have some extra challenges. So, readathon prompt, the buzzword challenge, the bookstar read along group book, <laughs> one week, one shelf, which is uh, from Books with Emily Fox, Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, Read My Rainbow, and My Advent Challenge. I made these to go into my bag of prompts so then I can have those a little bit more relatability and the potential of not having to uh, somehow make magic work and fit in every single reading challenge that I'm possibly doing. Admittedly the likelihood of me pulling one out is very slim because I have well over 80 but I thought I can't pull it out if it's not in there. So I've made those and really happy with that and then I've just been watching some booktube and some ASMR and reading are the Kremlins, but I then started panicking because I wanted to pick up my next book and I've lost the charger to my Kindle so I don't want to read Nettle and Bone just yet, which is one of my mandatories. So I was hunting around for the audiobook of Discovery of Witches, which I cannot find anywhere except on Audible or has an 18 week hold at the library. So that's fucking helpful. I figured if need be I can get the audiobook, no worries. But I've then been searching for Jurassic Park and same story. And I'm panicking that I'm not going to be able to access this. I'm going to have to use all my Audible credits, which is fine. That's no biggie if I do, but I just prefer to source it from another location or get in contact with Erin and she can hook me up with another library card. <laughs> but I'm trying to avoid that as well because I don't want to bombard her every month being like, hi, can you insert me with another card? So I go into Audible for Jurassic and search in Discovery of Witches. No luck. Go in and search Jurassic Park. It's already in my library. I got it on one of the discount deals and I've had it there the entire time. So love that for me. That's going to be my next read. So I'm going to start uh, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton and I have no idea how this is going to go <laughs> yet but that's the one that I've decided that I want to go with and then I'll either dive into Nettle and Bone or Discovery of Witches as they are my four mandatory reads for Cluedo. Then I will either dive into Feet of Clay, Never Fade or Morningstar depending on what I want to do for the week-long readathon. I'm just gonna keep reading. I did read one Animorphs book at the end of February so I sort of have a desire to continue on and the next two audiobooks are out so they will be half an hour uh, to be able to get through those two which would be nice to be able to make a little bit more progress and yeah I'm thinking if I just try to get through the two that get released every month and then in December try and just play catch up I would be missing three so I would have to read the two for December. I would need to read five in December and two every other month and I still, I would be fine and finish the series off in 2022. I might end up reading some more, I might not. Who knows, my mood has been all over the place. But 
now that I've found my audiobook for Jurassic Park, I am super excited to get into it. I knew I wanted to start off with Roald Dahl's, um, just because it was short and sweet. And yeah, I'm probably going to go to bed though, as it, it, I've been talking for so long. <laughs> I'll pick up Jurassic Park in the morning when I head to work. If I read it on my lunch break, that will be a sheer miracle, but I'll take it and see how we go. So yeah, I will check in with you tomorrow sometime. Hello my loves! So it is now the 2nd of March, I think it is, and I'm just home from work. We were going to go see the car and the mechanics, uh, however my granddad got himself in a bit of a fluster and so he has actually called the people saying don't worry about it, it's no worries, the car's too old for her because it, a th it is a 30 year old car. So um, that didn't go ahead. <laughs> But I'm definitely looking at, I have told him, no, I'm actually still interested, it's okay, I don't mind that it's a 30 year old car because I can feel confident driving it and not having to worry about denting it or anything like that, even though it is in pristine condition and I won't want to, I know that it's okay if I do. So we're gonna sit on it, I go for my PS test tomorrow and we'll see how we go with that. And fingers crossed it all goes well, I'm pretty sure it will, but residual anxiety about it because stress. But I got a package. And I don't know if I have included it or not in oh, amazing the February vlog or not, but I got a copy of Royal Assassin, uh, Assassin's Apprentice and it's damaged. I'm going to get a refund for it. I have to send it back, but I decided to order another copy before I got the refund and we'll see which one is damaged and if one's more damaged than the other and then send the other one back. So I think that this is what it is. Ash also got a delivery so I will ask if he wants to open his but ah oh my god it's in so much better condition. There is a tiny scuffing on the corner but honestly oh my god oh my have enthusiasm oh my god sorry that corner is damaged but honestly and like they've got little scuffings on those but by comparison holy shit okay. this is the other one so completely more noticeable actually like pressed in uh tearing on the side so it's like not just a crease whereas that Perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, it's so pretty! <sighs> it is also actually cheaper to get it through Ash than Amazon, but I did not know that. And uh, it's here. It's so pretty. Now I can, because I was like super devastated over it, so I like didn't want to include it in the vlog because I was super upset. I just, I wish they took more care with their expensive books. Like if it's over $50, you should have padding in it. It shouldn't be free to just roam the hillsides. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Ah. So I'm gonna send back the image one now that this one has arrived so I can just put the packing slip on it and that's all a good. And I will get my refund for it and feel a lot better. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. And like the pages were pressed in. These are perfect condition. Oh my god. Ah, it's so pretty. <laughs> I want to reread it so then I can understand what the illustrations are. That's so pretty. Uh, when I come up to each section, because I'm looking at the illustrations and I vaguely remember what the fuck's happening, but I'm also not 100% sure. Oh my god, my soul. Ah, marvelous. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to send my edition to Rai if they would like it. I will be starting on Jurassic Park next. Uh, this is the one that won the Twitter vote. So on Twitter I had a mushroom which was this, a nose that was nettle and bone, and a umbrella which was Discovery of Witches. I can't read a Discovery of Witches until later anyway. I'm an idiot. Ash is calling. Is it, is it good? Yeah. Okay, 
sorry ash called and then i went and got changed and yeah so i don't know what i was saying i will try and get ash when he gets home to do the unboxing for his but right now i need to edit so i'm going to listen to some booktube while i upload the files from my camera and then we will get into the editing so i will chat with you later I think I was having an existential crisis over including a discovery of witches, even though I couldn't have actually read that yet. Hi. I got book mail. He's a handsome man. Are you excited? Ooh! I like oh. their packaging. Oh yeah. What? I asked for it to be gift wrapped. Yeah. Oh my god. Isn't that the coldest? That's adorable. It's to me, from me, love me. Yes. <laughs> Is that on? No, they didn't put it on anywhere. There wasn't anywhere to put a message. Oh, okay. You just can request gift wrap. And you were saying it's from me, to me, love me. Yes. Very professional gift wrap. Ooh, it's, it's like the ones we got, but it's a different box. Like it has a separate box. It's not the blue in. one. No, it's not the blue one we got. Because it's the leather bound one? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, map. Whereas the one we got was um, the Daughter Moria. Yes, because that's not a, another language to me at all. Excuses have been acquired. Well, that's kind of pretty. Jesus, that is a behemoth. Yeah. Part of me doesn't want to even open the plastic. <laughs> you don't have to yet. You can do it later. You want to have a look? I want to see what it's like outside of the box. Okay. I want to see the actual like, proper level. I can see that. Oof. It reflects on your face. Damn. The gilded edges. You is glowing. What's that? The king's letter. I can't read it. No, you shouldn't be able to. It's got the actual translation there as well. Huh. That's a map. There's a map. There's a map? Like a pull-out map, as in it's not even attached to the book. And that's another map. More map. More maps. Stickers? No, days. Like little pop, like burnt Leaves parts. from the book of Mars. I what? can feel your boner from here. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh no. This is hilarious to watch. You make me a scene. Sir. 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 You're making a scene. Is you happy? Yes. Oh my god, it's I, so funny watching that. I is positively glowing. <laughs> you is. <laughs> you know, like in those movies when people find the hidden treasure and it's like, ah, that's literally what it looks like. You gotta get the angle of light right. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, I'm very happy. Is this going towards my book biome for the month? Yes, we're taking it off you. Okay. I love that that's a cutout on the box. Yes. So when you take it out, there's just a hole. <laughs> Yay! Happy. Happy. Ha ha 
A happy bash. A ha ha happy ash. Hello. It is now 10.30, 10.40 on Thursday the 3rd of March. What the fuck has been this week? <laughs> so, driving test wasn't my actual driving test, was the computer version. Went, sat it, passed. Can now sit for driving test. Was under the impression that was going to be on the 24th of March. They've had a cancellation for Monday, so now I'm going on the 7th and I am... Yes! <laughs> so I will be going for my actual PACE test on the 7th of March at 10.55am. I have a lesson with an instructor the hour before and then we will go from there. My grandpa also found me another car since uh, we've decided not to go with the 30 year old one. This is 20 years old. It has a CD drive, it's blue and automated windows <laughs> and power steering. <sighs> They're asking three thou, so that's good. In the fact that it's like bang on what the car's worth, that's nice. And I had some sprints with the lovely Erin today, and I got a decent another chunk through Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I am really enjoying this. The beginning was quite slow, and whilst I talked about sciencey sort of concepts, it wasn't the fact that it was sciencey concepts that was doing my head in. It just was taking a long time to get to anything of substance. They're now at Jurassic Park, so we are we are vibing and shit's going down. Shit hasn't even really gone down, but shit's going down. And I'm super enjoying it. I would like to read a little bit more tonight, but I think I'm gonna call it and just watch YouTube because my watch later is astronomical. <laughs> so I wanna get on top of that and not feel so overwhelmed and then dedicate my weekend to this. Was there anything else I had to say? I really need to pee so I can't focus on what I'm trying to say. I had a blast on the live with Erin. Anonymous sex I now need to buy because of the memories that we have associated with this book and just brilliant. So yeah, feeling a lot more positive tonight. Yesterday I went to check in and let you know that I read like 30 pages of Jurassic Park, but I was just not able to be on camera because I would just convulse into tears. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I actually explained the situation after Ash did his unboxing. At like 10 o'clock last night, I decided to go fill in the paperwork for my test today and realized, wait, this isn't actually the driving test. This is a computer generated one that I have to pass before I can even book in my driving test. Did that today, passed that which is great. And then, yeah, they said there was a cancellation. So I'm going in on Monday, which is fantastic because otherwise it would have been a month and uh, <laughs> very whiplashy work has been, work hasn't been bad, but it's been really weird. There's just been a lot of weird phone calls, weird dropouts. I understand that COVID's a thing, but like for people not to show up for their appointments, it's hitting a point of just real bizarre. The what's going on so that is what it is but it's been an interesting week at work and then with all of this going on in behind the scenes i'm just like ah and then the end of the month beginning of the month the videos and wanting to finish my tbr and start off the month strong i'm a little overwhelmed already and it's only the third so i'm hoping that monday we will mellow up so literally tomorrow is like my chill afternoon, but I'm gonna have to film my haul so then I can have that ready over the weekend. Because on Saturday, I have a live show discussion of City of Bones and then a podiatrist appointment. Then on Sunday, I think I'm live with Rye again at 11.30. And then Monday, I have my driving test. And then Tuesday, uh, we have a house inspection. So Sunday will also be spent cleaning as well. And I can't dedicate as much time to editing. And then Wednesday, thank fuck, I have a therapy appointment. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm just, uh. Anyway, my battery's flashing at me. I've managed to read some of Jurassic Park and feeling really good. I'm really, really enjoying it and can't wait to see how the action shapes up. So I'm gonna leave it here, go watch some YouTube, pee and go to sleep. Bye. Hello, I am a very tired individual. It is now eight. 30 on 
Friday the 4th of March and I am fucking exhausted. <laughs> I have finally caught up on my watch later list on YouTube so I'm going to start or continue on with Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. That's the one. You're currently resting on it though. I think with my listening speed I have just under three hours so the audiobook says I have nine and a half real-time hours listening to but reading it on the speed that I am I have under three hours to go so I'm gonna do that and check in with you later bye I'm an attractive motherfucker hello quick update it is now like uh, 20 past 11 or something and <laughs> I um, read over 100 pages of Jurassic Park and now up to page 313 <laughs> and I think I started at 150 so doing good read my page count for today which is great so gonna continue on with this tomorrow but gonna go to bed now I have the City of Bones discussion tomorrow and then my foot appointment so I'm gonna get up early and get shit done and then do that but my camera battery is done so I will chat with you later See you in the morning. Bye. Hello my loves. So it is now seven o'clock on the 5th of March and I finished Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. And I'm giving this four stars. It was so much fun. Ash and I are going to watch the movie as well. He's very excited for the fa that fact. So that is my second uh, mandatory read for Cluedo, done and dusted. And also was Mel's recommendation, both for Roll of Reads and for my advent challenge. I am so happy with that and feeling all the love, feeling really good and yeah it was surprising. I thought it was going to be more scientific than it actually was and I'm really appreciative of the fact that it wasn't. One thing that I felt was that it was, you felt like it was written in the 90s. The narrator in a way just sounded like it was the 90s and obviously with the computer and all the tech that was available it was definitely a older style of looking at things and I don't know what the technology would be now but I feel like they wouldn't describe it the way that they did with the supercomputers and all of that or if they did then <laughs> it wouldn't fill up an entire room but I'm not sure so yeah that was really interesting I really enjoyed it and it was a lot of fun there were some scenes that I was like oofed oofty and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about a particular character and their removal, but I'm super happy with one of the other concluding endings because the character severely pissed me off. So that was great. I am now stuck. <laughs> I don't want to read physically. And the next mandatory book that I have, and my like last mandatory that I can read for the next little while is Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher and that is an arc. I also have Discovery of Witches but I'm leaving that until the end of the month so then I don't forget anything for the live show. So yeah, I then have my optional reads and I'm not vibing any of those. <laughs> so I'm pretty much up shit creek without a paddle because I just want to play Sims and listen to an audiobook but I don't feel like any of the audiobooks and I'm half tempted to throw my TBR out the window but know that's not a smart idea. Hello my loves it is now 10 o'clock on the 6th of March and I don't know if I updated I was going to start Never Fade and then said fuck this shit and read an animal instead so I read The Sickness which is book 29 and I gave that four stars really enjoyed being back in Cassie's perspective and then today I have read nothing but I watched the Jurassic Park film with Ash and had so much fun with it. It was really nice just spending a night eating popcorn and watching a movie which is not something that we do because my attention span cannot hold for that long. <laughs> So it's nice to sort of just try something new and watch a film that Ash really adores and we had a lot of fun. I was like, what happened here? What's this? And because he knows the film so well, he was like, just totally chill to have a nice discussion about it and did a few little bits and comparisons. And I found it really interesting. I view each work as separate entities because obviously you're going to have things in literature that you can't transfer to screen and vice versa. Things that are going to work better cinematically that aren't necessarily in the book. And yeah, so I found the changes that they did make really interesting and further the plot in a way that worked for the narrative. I just really don't want to read anything and so I'm procrastinating on it. So tomorrow I go for my piece and I will check in with you then to let you know how we go and if I actually have picked up anything, which I might have.
but we'll see. Bye! Hello, my loves. It is now 10.30 on the 7th of March, and just need to do a check-in because I haven't read a single thing all day, but I got my peas, so now I can drive without a supervisor in the car, which is weird. I've had my learner's permit for 11 years, and in the past month, just over a month, past five weeks, uh, decided that, yeah, this is something that I want to do, and so I've done it. It's very surreal. I, it, it's very odd adjusting my thinking to, <laughs> to be a bee plater, um, just because I never really thought that I would get there. It was never a sense of urgency. I never needed to get my peas, but now living in a country town, it is going to be so much more convenient, especially if I want to go see my family. Like I'm no longer restricted to them coming up to see me or getting the train down. I can drive down and see them. It'll probably take about the same amount of time because I can only do 90 Ks an hour, but <laughs> as getting the train, but uh, that's okay. So that has been filling my brain and just running on adrenaline. And <laughs> I came home and napped for probably about half an hour this afternoon and it was glorious but I didn't read and Ash and I have a house inspection tomorrow so Ash made dinner and um then we did the tidy up so now that's all ready to go and I'm in bed I also have been like struggling to find the audiobooks that I wanted to listen to because I'm reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess for the week of the 14th and my library loan is actually going to expire on the 12th and there are six people waiting so I'm not going to be able to get it but thankfully Erin has hooked me up and I have all the audiobooks that I need for the rest of this month so I've been procrastinating because the only one that I had was Morningstar and I really don't want to fucking read it so I've been procrastinating reading uh, Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken which is the second in the darkest mind because I didn't have the audiobook for it and it's a chonky beast so now I can dive into that. Also, I can dive into Feet of Clay. Um, I am contemplating waiting for Jacqueline to finish Guards Guard so then we can have the conversation about it before diving into Feet. Uh, but there is a very high likelihood of me just diving straight into it because why not? Outside of Jacqueline's and my discussion, I, again, was not wanting to pick that one up because I couldn't get the ebook and the audiobook on separate things to be able to read along while I was listening. It was either one or the other. And with Pratchett, it's one that I love listening to the audiobook and reading along with the ebook. So now I have that sorted as well, thanks to Erin. So we're ready. <laughs> Inspection will be done tomorrow afternoon. And then I can just, I didn't schedule my video for tomorrow. It's literally all edited. That is so frustrating. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. No, I've had a lot on my plate. Like, I'm not gonna beat myself up about that. I didn't need to nap. Real time, it, well, not real time for you, but real time for me figuring out my upload schedule because I'm not used to uploading on a Tuesday. <laughs> Wait, what day is today? Anyway, that's where I'm at. So tomorrow, hopefully I will say that I finally started something. I got lots to read and I want to read, but I don't want to have to physically read. <laughs> so now that the audiobooks are sorted, we should be good. And uh, yeah, I'll sign off for tonight and check in with you hopefully tomorrow. Bye. Hello, my loves. It is now... Tuesday the 8th of March at 11 o'clock at night and I'm about to journal and head to bed and apparently scratch the shit out of my chin with my ring. Love that. Ow. Anyway, just jumping on. I read 169. <laughs> yeah, I did. 169 pages of Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, which is the second in the Darkest Minds series today. I'm not sure if I updated, but I did also read a small section, I think like the first two chapters of Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. Yeah, which I'm really enjoying, but I just can't be fucked actually using my eyes to read at the moment. And so I only want to listen to audiobooks. So that's on the back burner till I can get my brain to switch back over into reading physical and or ebooks without an audiobook. But yeah, so I listened to the audiobook of this and made a decent chunk. 
through it and I am super proud because I felt like I hadn't really gone to the swing of reading and then today we were just like sweet they did the house inspection everything's done and yeah tomorrow I need to start editing February's vlog which is going to kill my soul because it's about two and a half hours of footage so I'm gonna start on that help Ash with dinner just having everything ready to go but I'm also getting home a little bit later because I have therapy till five but not too late so that'll be good. I'm also like petrified my grandpa's gonna rock up outside of work at 4 30 and not let me know that he's coming and I'm I'm not leaving work at 4 30 so we'll see how that goes. Been a pretty chiller day it was very rainy and cold my poor parents did a four hour round trip for something that really should have only taken them worst case scenario an hour to do so anything that went wrong went wrong on that trip but they're home and safe and dry they're just over it raining and yeah I'm not sure what's happening with the car that's like one of the reasons I think my grandpa will just rock up whenever I don't like talking over the phone so I'm just gonna rock up I think that was everything we had a nice very chill night Ash has done a lot more than me because he cooked and did all the stuff he was good handsome strong man Oh well, yes, now ready for bed. So yeah, I'm gonna journal and we're gonna go to bed. And then I will check in with you tomorrow when I've done some more. Hopefully I can hit halfway tomorrow. That would be ideal. Boy! Hello my loves. It is now 10.30 on Wednesday the 9th of March and I'm gonna journal and go to bed. I read another 50 pages of Never Fade, so I'm nearing the halfway mark, which is exciting. Ended up chatting with mum and needing to edit so I didn't get as much read as I would like to but that's totally fine and tomorrow is going to be a heavy editing night not once I get home but I'm not sure what's happening after work so we will have to see hopefully I will be able to hit over the halfway mark tomorrow night and yeah Ash and I are just gonna have a really chill one dinner's ready to go we just need to reheat it so that's gonna be awesome and yeah I just need to edit my February vlog, so I'm going to sign off and go journal and go to bed, and I will chat with you on the morrow. Bye! Hello, just checking in for the day. It is now 10.30, somewhere around there, on Thursday the 10th of March, and I'm officially a second car owner, because <laughs> technically I still own Stella. I bought my new car today, so I've been driving around by myself. This is fucking weird but it's nice. I went and picked Ash up and then we went to the shops. So I bought the car that I have. I have like a whole thing of CDs, but I can't find it. So I decided to just stock up because it has a CD player and I apparently am not a fan of listening to the radio. <laughs> so we bought two pink albums and this skater punk, was that what it was called? Like a, a collection of skater punk art songs. Mm -hmm. Which were basically 2000s, uh, pop punk, pop punk's child, hello, my shit. So when Ash was reading it out, I was like, fuck yes, this is the one that I want. So we got that, and so I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. And then I have two of Pink's newest albums, which I'm really excited for. I've listened to two songs on each, I think. So happy to have those floating around. I love Pink, so more than happy to play that. No reading got done because we got home quite late and I was going to try and do stuff but then didn't and then went and picked Ash up and then had to start editing February's vlog which usually I would have had scheduled to go up at 6am tomorrow but I said fuck it. I got quite a significant chunk of the way through. We're sitting at 48 minutes of footage already and I still have another 47 minutes of unedited footage. So this is going to be a long one. And I'm just, I'm just, I wasn't vibing editing because my neck was sore and it hit like 5,000 at night. I was like, fuck this shit. I want to go read. And then I didn't read because Ash and I played Pass the Pug after dinner and it was glorious and that was an enjoyable way to swim my time. So that's where I'm at. So no reading got done today, but that's totally fine. I really don't care. Tomorrow back at work uh, will be interesting if I get to drive myself and not have to wait for a cab. I will need to get fuel probably on the weekend. I know. And they, they said they put the middle one in. This is, this is gonna go over well. Big Saturday 
morning, I suppose. But yep, tomorrow work and then chilling the fuck out. And we're gonna get takeout for dinner. Uh, we'll either get hoagies, which are these really random, delicious things that I don't even know how to describe, or we'll do my first drive through Maccas. <laughs> um, or some, some takeaway that I can go and get. Uh, Cause that would be kind of cute. But I'm also, Ash will walk past Hoagie's on his way home if um, we do decide to go with it. I'm just, I'm really happy and feeling really good. And I'm sort of enjoying, one, not having a strict schedule with my videos, especially in the mornings, like have, wanting to finish them the night before so then they can go up. Because what's it matter if I post it at like 10 o'clock at night, my time? <laughs> it's not gonna make a difference. It's a vlog. And if it, people are gonna watch it whenever they want. So, you know, so having that freedom, also only doing two videos a week just frees up a lot of time for me to be able to do that anyway, rather than, oh shit, like these need to be going out one after the other, after the other. I'm like, well, fuck it. It's no worries because the next one's not going up till Tuesday anyway, so I have time. <laughs> so that's been kind of nice, having that flexibility. Also, deciding, you know what, Ash and I want to play three rounds of Pass the Pugs. So um, I'm going to do that <laughs> and not read because I love spending time with Ash and really nice to do something. And Ash was like, I'm going to go to bed and play my new game on my Switch. And I was like, okay, I'll come in and read with you. And then I realized that it was 10 o'clock and I did not want to get myself emotionally invested in a book so I just watched ASMR and journaled instead. I'm feeling really peaceful and I haven't even taken my sleeping tablet yet. So I'm gonna sign off here and go take that tablet and then crash out and I will check in with you tomorrow. I, I'm, I'm still wigging out about being on the road. <laughs> Bye! Hello, it is now 20 past 10 on Friday the 11th of March and it's Friday! Ah! Got Many exciting things tomorrow. I'm going to a library sale first thing in the morning, which I'm super keen for, and we'll hopefully get some courage to vlog. Um, and then we're going to go pick some new glasses for Ash, hopefully. And we'll get his script, and then we can float around, and I might try a few on just for shits and gigs. I just want to touch base because I've read 50 pages of Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, so I'm over halfway and really enjoying it. The stakes in these are really quite high. I'm very curious to see what's about to unfold. They're in the Ring of Fire, so. The if Ring you know, of Fire? The Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire! The Ring of Fire! Turn on the Ring of Fire! <laughs> You're cute. Look at that cuteness. Look at that cute face. Hi. I'm gonna continue reading tonight, and the main reason is, is because I'm a dumb fuck. <laughs> so I've I had three and a half hours of footage for my February vlog to edit and I cracked the shits last night and said, no, nope, I'm done. I'm not doing any more. I just, I'll do it tomorrow and then upload it. Sweet, no worries. I've ended up with an hour and 15 minutes of footage. So it's a big fucking video. And then I export it and it takes, yeah, probably about an hour and a half, two hours, which I thought was semi reasonable considering the size of it, you know, no biggie. I then upload it to YouTube and it takes two hours again to process, which is not the usual amount. But I was like, oh, it's a long video. I've then gone to check over everything later. The two hours have passed and it's really taking its time to process. And that's not usual. Normally it's like done and processed the second it's done. So I thought that was strange. And then I'm looking at it. I've exported it in the wrong file type. <laughs> So the quality of it would have been shit. So now I'm waiting for it to export, which is only going to take half an hour, which is makes sense because it's now in the right file type. Love that for me. But I then have to wait for it to export so then I can upload it and then I have to wait for that because I can't turn my computer off while that's happening. Would it kill my computer if I kept it on overnight? I mean, no. I have half an hour more of reading, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just wanted to let you know, I'm a dumb fuck, but it's sorted. And yeah, so I wanted to get it up now that I've set like the Tuesday, Friday. I was like, I really do want to get that up tonight. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go up tonight, but I'd like for it to happen. So that's my little update. Um, So I'm going to continue on with this and maybe check in with you later, but probably not. Talk to you when I talk to you next. Bye.
Good morning, um, just to highlight the continuation. My vlog that went up last night, I forgot to add the thumbnail to it, so it's just been me, like, which is fine, but, oh fuck, I just want to remove this from existence, but here we are, this is the joys of booktubing. Anyway, library sale today, I'm so excited, it's 8am, 8 8.30, 8 I don't know what the fuck the time is, so excited. Hopefully, I will get the courage to be able to take some footage. Hello, it is now midnight on Sunday the 13th and I didn't touch base after the, book, the library book sale, which is there. Ash and I ended up staying out a lot later and got food shop and all of that good fun stuff done. So yeah, had a really lovely day. I will talk through those books in the morning, but I'm just super tired and want to go to bed. But before I do that, I finished Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, which is the second in the Darkest Mind series, and I'm giving it a 4.5 stars because this hurt me in many ways. I'm really enjoying where the plot's going. I really enjoy seeing the conflict of different parties and not knowing where things are going to go. And yeah, I really love the characters. Too much. Painfully too much sometimes. So I definitely am very keen to continue on with the series now. Whereas before I was like, yeah, I'll pick this up when I get to it. I wasn't overly excited when I pulled it out. Well, yeah, when I pulled it out of the big book jar, but now I'm like, okay, the next one can come out now, please. So we'll see when I get to the rest of the series, but I'm definitely invested. And my next read is going to be Nettle and Bone, which I'm going to work on tomorrow on my Kindle. So that's up and running because I need to get to it. It is a mandatory read and I want to make some progress. And I'm starting Daughter of the Moon Goddess next week on Monday. So I want to hopefully finish that off. I think I should be able to, um, given tomorrow is a pretty chill day for us and I've got sprints tomorrow night, so I reckon it's doable and I'd like for that to happen. So I will check in with you on those and if there was any other things. But for now, I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted and I will see you in the morning. Bye! Hello! Um, just putting away the laundry for today and listening to India's Sprints with Chris <laughs> and um, just wanted to check in today because I have it. Um, today was both a lazy day and a semi intense one. Um, I went live with Bri earlier in the day and I also went live with Mel uh, tonight which was wonderful and yeah I have now since finished the 30th Animorphs, which is very, very surprising that I am at the 30 book mark because I only have 24 to go. It feels a lot more manageable with that amount rather than something else. Yeah, so a lot more manageable now that I have that done and I've made some progress on Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, which is an arc that I have. I think I'm up to 64% and I was at like 10% this morning, so <laughs> that's um, some progress. And yeah, I'm just, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's now like 11.30 and Honestly, I just want to crawl into bed and sleep for a thousand months, but nope, here we are. So, yeah, I, um, I've done all of that, um, we got my car cleaned. Yeah, I don't really have too much more to update on. I didn't get half as much as I would have liked to have, get, have gotten done, but that's the way this video goes. Um, I feel like there's never enough hours in the day or I just don't prioritize the right things or however it is. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired. How are you? Let me know how you're doing. It's the Sunday the 13th of March. Oh, so the Aurelian Gear Up and Steph Loves Readathon starts tomorrow and I will be reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess which is exciting and I'm also going to be reading a series continuation so I think I'm gonna go with the Morning Star as much as I'm going to regret that choice. Uh, it seems like one of the few ones that are, are viable. No! Oh shit! 
I'm just thinking about it. My options that I need are a Sky Beyond the Storm, House of Sky and Breath. One other one that I can't remember off the top of my head now. All right, let's go see what I'm reading. Oh, shit. Mm. So I was supposed to read Morningstar this week instead of Never Fade because Never Fade is the other one that I couldn't remember. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, rightio. Oh, I have made some interesting decisions in my life. Oh, fuck. I need my phone. I'll come back to you. Hello. So I've decided that I'm just going to read a fuck ton this week and see how we go. My main two goals is going to be Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Shadow Kiss, which is the third Vampire Academy up book. If I can get to House of Sky and Breath, yay, or Arrow to the Moon, then I will count those. But yeah, I, I wasn't prepared for that. Daughter of the Moon Goddess is definitely going to happen. Shadow Kiss should be a pretty easy read. It's not overly long. And then I can continue on with the series later. And then anything else I get to on top of that would be great. I'm currently like 117 pages through Nettle and Bone. So that's almost complete, which could technically go towards my conduit if I want, but I don't particularly want it. But it could go to branches on the cover if I wanted to do a wand. And then Daughter of the Moon Goddess has a sky on the cover. That time, thinking of looking at it, of getting that done. And then Shadow Kiss would get me the spell book, which has two S's in it, I believe. And then House of Sky and Breath would get me everything. Um, I'm not going to bother with Sky Beyond the Storm as of yet, just because I don't have the physical copy with me. I don't know when I will be able to get it, and it's one of those that I want to read a lot with. So that's what we're going with. Then if I get to Feet of Clay, that would be great. I think that's everything. So I'm going to wrap this up here, see how we go for getting this up. If you see me in the next clip and it's not separated, my apology, <laughs> but I'm going to sign it off here and hopefully edit this as a nearly two week long vlog. And then I would do the week of Aurelium Gear Up and the Vital Support Club and then the last week and a bit of March. Let me know in the comments below how your March is shaping up and has any good news come for you this month already. If you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!